Hi, I'm Angie Serrano, and coming up, we'll have a sneak peek of Mesh Charter School's new home. That's right, Angie, and the new home comes a new sports program. So get ready to batter up, slam dunk, and spike. Hi, you're watching MCS TV, where we dare to be extraordinary. I'm Abigail Munoz. And I'm Michael Sweeney. And today, we'll be sharing some very exciting news. The move to a new school. Mesh Charter School's new home will be located on 211 Sherman Avenue, which is currently the home to the Liberty Academy Charter School. The school is bigger and better, so big that we'll be able to give respective wings to both the middle school and the high school. It's going to be a big move. Our very own Angeli Serrano caught up with Dr. Seiko for more details. Angeli? Thanks. Hi, I'm Angeli Serrano, and I'm here with the founder of Mesh Charter School, Dr. Seiko. So, Dr. Seiko, um, we heard that there's big news that's coming up at Mesh Charter School that we're actually going to move. So, can you talk more about that? Yeah, so our administration was working diligently on finding our own building, and I'm pleased to say uh, we're going to be moving effective July 1st, and with that comes a sports program, because if you have a gym where you can practice, and fields, we can now start all sports with the exception of swimming and um, football. Um, so aside from sports programs, um, are, are there any other activities that's going to be um, coming up soon? Well, the other activities will be pumping a lot of money into the chemistry laboratories to make them state-of-the-art uh, on a college level so that when you take AP chemistry, you'll be one step ahead of everybody else in the area. Wow, that's a really big change. Well, I really can't wait to actually move. Thank you, Dr. Seiko. My pleasure. And back to your studio. And another exciting announcement. Mets Charter School's Board of Education has approved the sports program for next year. That will include soccer, basketball, baseball, softball, volleyball, and cheerleading. Sports will begin this August. Our very own Charles Torres caught up with sports director, Mr. Fallon, with some exclusive details. Charles? Hi, I'm Charles Torres, and today I'm here with Mr. Fallon, sports director for Mets Charter School. How are you, Mr. Fallon? Good morning, Charles. How are you? I'm good. Um, so... Now that we've been approved for sports here at Mets Charter School, what is our progress since the last board meeting? Well, since we were approved at the last board meeting, uh, we've started to take resumes for all the different coaching openings that we have here at Mets. And uh, this morning, we were fortunate enough to pick our first coach here at Mets. Uh, we were lucky enough to hire a girls basketball coach. Oh, that's nice. Uh, but could you explain us a bit more, like what kind of sports we're going to have here at Mets Charter School? Sure. Uh, for the fall season, when we come back to school in September, we're going to have a boys' soccer team. Uh, while that's going on, we're also going to have girls' volleyball. Uh, during the winter season, we're going to have basketball for boys uh, and girls. And when it gets warm out again in the springtime, we're going to have baseball for boys and uh, softball for girls. Oh, wow. It looks like Mets has a lot more sports to come up now. Um, you mentioned before a coach that you hired. Yes, we were very lucky uh, this morning. Uh, Dr. Seiko, Dr. Gobin, and myself, we sat down and we discussed the candidates for the girls' basketball position. Uh, we had a candidate who was actually a teacher here at Mets who was an excellent player, uh, who was also an excellent coach at our local high school who's had a lot of success over the years. And um, we were lucky enough to have her here, and we hired the first coach in the history of Mets Charter School. Could you introduce us? Who is sure. Ms. Good catch. Thank you. Well, hi, I'm Peter Ibram, and I'm here with Ms. Dulé, the coach of the girls' basketball team for Mets Charter School. First off, we'd like to congratulate you on getting position, and we're very happy for you. Oh, thank you so much, Peter. Um, so, we know you have an experience in coaching girls' uh, basketball, so uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, actually, this past year, I was an assistant coach over at Holy Family Academy, which is where I went to high school in Bayonne, and we did really well. We had a winning season, and we actually made it to the state tournament. And I was really proud of the girls this year. Um, so how do you uh, hope to bring experience from that coaching job to Met Charter School? Well, I've also coached, you know, I played basketball since I was five years old. Um, I played all through grammar school, traveling teams, things like that. Then played in high school on the varsity for four years. And then, you know, had a great teacher. My dad actually coached me a long time. Love talking basketball with him still. So I hope to bring all the experiences I've had and, you know, have a great season next and, year. Uh, knowing the, the talent that we have to offer at Mets Charter School uh, as up to date, what are your goals? What are your plans for 
forming Mass Charter School into a winning team? Well, anytime you have a new team, the biggest issue you have to get down to is fundamentals. So I'm really going to drill the girls, make sure that they know what they have to do, when they have to do it, work on some plays, all that kind of stuff, introduce them to the sport, and I know we're going to have a winning season. Well, uh, that's very good, and uh, thank you, and good luck. Thank you, Peter. The countdown for the NJASC Assessment of Skills and Knowledge has begun. The middle school students are preparing for the exam, which is in two weeks. From April 29th to May 2nd, the 7th and 8th graders will be testing. The following week, from May 6th to May 9th, the 6th graders will be testing. Our very own Oscar Hernandez called up a Mr. Falstich for more details about the test. Oscar? Hello, I'm Oscar Hernandez, and I'm here with Director of Curriculum, Mr. Ian Falstich. Mr. Falstich. Hi, Oscar. Uh, so we are approximately two weeks away from NJS testing, and um, how important are these tests? Well, NJS is one of these tests that um, it kind of culminates an explanation of everything we've done with the students for the year, and it's kind of our way of measuring, you know, student learning over the year. So student learning is very important, and the fact that we measure student learning is very important. So to us, um, extremely important. And how can students better prepare for this testing? Well. You know, of course, we want students to do their homework and you know pay attention in class. But um, extra preparation we're providing is after school classes. We do math classes on Mondays, reading classes on Wednesdays and Thursdays, and we do um, math, reading, and writing classes every Saturday. And as director of curriculums, uh, how do you expect the students to do um, in the testing? Well, I think we've had a great year. We've seen a lot of learning, a lot of academic success. So right now, we're looking for some really great results. You know, on this year's NJASC. All right, thank you, Mr. Fostich, and back to you at the studio. I hope everyone does well in their exams and during their last few weeks of school. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching Match Charter School TV, where you dare to be extraordinary. I'm Michael Sweeney. And I'm Abigail Munoz, and we'll see you next week on MCS TV.